Hello everyone. I'm glad to see you all on my educational channel. So we are going today to read the continuation of the Uni B. Jones story. Yeah. Okay. And today the new chapter, Shining. Yeah. And uh, this chapter is uh, a little bit long. That's why I split it into two parts. So you, I, you will know, yeah, that uh, you should watch first the first part and then find uh, the second part of this uh, chapter. So let's start to know what this chapter is about. Shining. When I went back inside, all was still very screaming. That scarce mother couldn't find his pacifier. Pacifiers are what babies like to suck on, except I don't know why, because one time I sucked on Ollie's and it tasted like my red sneakers. Just then, mother ran out of all his room. <clears throat> and her hair was very sticking out, and her clothes were all wrinkly, and she was wearing one sock, and that's all. Where is it? Where is this pacifier? It just didn't disappear into thin air. You know, she hollered very loud. Then me and daddy had to help mother look for the pacifier speed quick. Cause she was losing her grip, I think. I looked in the couch. That's because sometimes if you push your hand way under the cashers, you can find some good stuff under there. This time, I found three cheaters and a popcorn. They were very delicious. Okay. After that, I looked under Daddy's back, under Daddy's big chair. Only it was too dark to see under there. And so, I ran to get the flashlight. Because I learned about flashlights in school, remember? Flashlights are fun to shine in the dark. I shined it in the dark closet and also down the dark basement steps. Then I remembered another dark place and its name was Screaming Ollie's Room. Because his shades were pulled down for his nap, that's why. I ran right there very fast. Look! I said to Screaming Ollie, I've got a flashlight. I shot it on his ceiling. See? See that little round circle of shine up there? I said. Then I shined it on his jungle wallpaper. And see the monkeys, Oli? And the hippo part of something? I asked him. Only screaming Oli just kept right on screaming. And he didn't show Katsi to me. Katsi is a school word for listening very polite. That's how come I shined it right in his big fat crying mouth. Except for just then, a problem happened. And it's called Mother sneaked up on me in her quiet sock. Junior B. Jones, what in the world do you think you are doing? She hollered. I did a gulp. Then my heart got very pumpy because I was in big trouble. That's why. You see, here's Juni B. Jones with her flashlight here and mother who is asking her what is she doing here. 
Okay, so we stop for now. Yeah. And what do you think? Hmm? Do you think that you need a chance? Uh, want to help her little brother? Yeah, to come down? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think so. But, but the mother was tired and a little bit nervous. That's why she doesn't understand. So, are you interested in what is happen next? Mm -hmm. So, me too. If you like the story, put a like. So I understand that you like the story. And subscribe if you want to hear the continuation of the story about Juni P. Jones. So, bye bye for now. See you soon with the second part of this chapter.